Joining us now here on Hudson County TV is Director of the Hoboken Housing Authority and current Assemblyman candidate in the 33rd District, Mr. Carmelo Garcia. Carmelo, appreciate it as always. Um, just to give our viewers a better understanding of how complicated this process was, but more specifically, what went into ha having this center reopened? Well, restoring any community room like this that's so significant to the people is very important and it takes some time to do it the right way because you want to modernize it. You take an opportunity to basically upgrade what was there and in its restoration. So it is a difficult uh, challenge. However, you know, we had accommodated these seniors because they had nowhere to go at the Hoboken Housing Authority in 220 Adams and we're delighted they, they, that they were receiving their home finally at this point and it took a long time but at the end of the day it's here they're happy we're excited to be a part of this process and I'm glad that we can join them in receiving them back here at their home uh, as we're very grateful to having them at our space and we will continue to always help out those senior citizens in need especially to have their bingo and to congregate and socialize throughout with their neighbors. Speaking about bingo there's a brand new bingo board here today so I know seniors are very happy about that. Um, overall, though, at the Housing Authority and then overall in Hoboken, though, what other additional services can seniors look forward to, even so many months after Hurricane Sandy, the town's still trying to recover? The bingo is definitely a state-of-the-art. Uh, technology that they have deployed, which I'm excited about. I had some input there, which is great. Uh, on, on top of that, there are a lot of recreational areas that are still uh, rebuilding as far as uh, post Sandy. Uh, there are opportunities that the seniors have throughout the community to still uh, socialize and uh, congregate and do other activities. There are some that are lacking. However, we are working uh, in partnership to make sure that our seniors' needs are being met throughout the city, as well as particularly in the Hoboken Housing Authority community. So we're just delightful to be a part of that process. I'm glad that we can be a problem solver in a lot of the issues that are facing the city right now. And we look forward to uh, helping in any endeavors that we can to make it better and to offer the seniors and the disabled persons who are our most precious resource along with our children the greatest opportunities possible. We do know that seniors as well as the disabled here in, Ho in Hoboken are a very vocal constituency. Um, what sort of I would say not backlash, but what feedback have you received from seniors after everything that happened with Hurricane Sandy here in Hoboken and in terms of getting everything done in, you know, in a very expedient manner? Well, the seniors were very upset. Unfortunately, you know, they felt it took too long, which they thought it wasn't a priority, which might have been the case in its perception. However, you know what? It, it's always a delight when we can just get the job done and finalize that particular need and resource that they have been longing for. So, it, you know, it's very difficult because they don't have much available to them. So when something is taken away, uh, it is our utmost urgency to get it back to where it was in its restoration and to give them something more more modern, which is why I'm really grateful that, again, the Hoboken House Authority, myself, um, as a former director of Health and Human Services, who had dedicated this center to Vincent Barbo back uh, many years ago, to see it now restored and modernized, and to know that it is their home, the senior citizens and disabled persons' home, to do a lot of activities, not just bingo, dancing, you know, informative seminars, and things of that nature from a public safety standpoint that will protect them and give them the resources that they need and desire because they're living a longer life. So that's what it's all about. We have to be the problem solvers. we got to come together to get things done. So I'm really grateful that we could be a part of this for the seniors who I cherish so much and who, again, are our most precious resources. Well, once again, Carmelo, appreciate a couple minutes here and, and the clarity you provide for our viewers here on Hudson County TV. Thank you again. Thank you, Hudson County TV.